Hey guys, Gaston here. Welcome to another video. Today, we're gonna talk about uh, three simple steps that I wanna give you for the one-handed backhand. I made a video about this a long time ago, probably one of my first videos on the channel almost two years ago. But I wanna reinforce this because a lot of people keep asking, you know, for more, um, more explanation or more um, showing you guys more how it would be executed, okay? Right executed with hitting a lot of balls and showing you different angles that you can get. So the first thing that you need to know, and uh, one of the things that I see, especially in the recreational level, it's a big mistake of people taking the racket back, uh, um, kind of like here, or I see people that it's coming right after, uh, right down here, and then going up, because they, of course, you think that it makes sense to go from down, okay, to up to create the spin. So the first thing, okay, with the grip, when you have the racket on your hand, you need to create this 90 degree angle here. You'll see every single player with one single hand on the tour that they create this. Babrinka, Tim, Federer, Gasquet, everybody, okay? This is what is gonna give you leverage to then hit the ball with more power because you're gonna create kind of like a trigger here to hit the ball with different effects and different power. I'm gonna leave up here a video that I have in the difference between the the backhand with the spin or the flat one, so you can take a look at that one. But here, just we're gonna focus on the three steps for the one-handed. So first thing, after you get the racket, you position yourself, okay, your split step, you see the ball coming, you, you need turn, okay, you see. You position yourself to the ball, the first leg, the right leg, if you're righty, okay, I'm gonna talk for the righties. Of course, if you're a lefty, you're gonna have your left leg in front. So if you're righty, okay, front leg, all the weight in the leg, racket, not too close to your body, not too far, okay? You wanna keep it in a confident place where your hands, your arms are still a little smooth to have this movement, okay, in this movement. So, first step, okay? All the weight on your front leg, right in front of you. If you wanna um, compare this with something, you wouldn't have it like this, and you wouldn't have it all the way front, okay? You would have kind of like a 45 degrees pointing uh, in a diagonal line, like if you were to the, maybe to the benches, okay, or to the crowd or to the referee. So 45 degrees, the, the strings of the racket facing forward. You start to take it back. And here is important, when you start to take the racket back and you're gonna reach something behind, you can actually feel that when you take it back and you see all the players, I'm gonna show you this, all the players take your racket back you can see here my elbow, some of them keep it a little low, some of them lift it a little more, some of them take it more closer to the body. That's different from every player, but what's important is that, that when the ball is coming, you try to reach something on the shelf, okay, just like if you were trying to get a book from behind, to take the racket back and create this loading to then go forward with the weight of your body. So I'm gonna show you a couple of balls hitting here and we're gonna keep talking about this a little more. All right, so you could see there, when I hit the ball in slow motion and you saw the players doing it, okay? Your split step, see the ball coming, unit turn, find something behind, okay? Take the racket back. As soon as you start to go forward, you start to bring all the energy of your body, okay? Reaching forward, all the weight on the front leg to then hit in front, and this is very important. Once you reach the contact point, your arm has to be all the way extended and then, depending if you play down the line or cross court, it's gonna depend if you take it more, okay, you keep it more going up or you take it all the way back. Again, there's a video of that in the difference between flat 
and, and, and backhand with a spin. Also, it's going to make a difference if you come all the way from down or if you come more straight to the ball. Again, depending what you're going to hit. So the three steps, we do a, a quick recap. Split step. Step number one, leg in front. Okay, you start to concentrate the weight. You keep the unit, okay? You keep turning your body just to reach something behind. You keep turning, you prepare. As soon as you see the ball coming, you will need to go, okay, a little up and down depending uh, the height of the ball so you can adjust to then get down. So this is, would be for a general backhand. I'm not talking here to hit a flat one. You need to get on the ball. You, to hit with more spin, you need to get from under. So the general uh, rally backhand that you do all the time, Okay, just with a little bit of spin, leg in front, keep turning, reach something behind. When you let the racket go, okay, after you liberate, this I'm gonna show you like this so you can see, after you reach behind and then you keep taking it down, you keep, you keep, you keep. When you let it go, there is when you have to start to create this angle here of, imagine somebody is pulling, okay, imagine you have a stripe here, somebody is pulling you to make you turn, once you reach, the limit, then somebody lets you go and you will liberate all the power to go forward. You're going to see this again. I'm going to show you more in fast and in slow motion, cross court down the line. You will be able to see this pretty quick. But again, imagine you have somebody pulling you from behind. Then you, this person lets you go, okay? You cut the road and then you can liberate yourself and create this uh, movement with your hips that you will see every player doing it okay to then fall and uh, finish the rotation something that i was doing here if you didn't pay attention my my foot was like this cross course so this is actually uh cross this is stopping me from having a good rotation so when you step to the ball it's very important that you keep your hips open this actually keeps your hips open because you will need to pivot in this in this foot okay if you have it like this look how you're gonna pivot you're actually gonna fall so open okay same thing that you do for a two-handed backhand here Let's do it again. Split step, open, let your hips fall and be able to fall because you're going to be ready again to fall, finish the transition, do the split and come back, okay, with a cross step to the middle of the court. So let's see a couple more balls hitting and then, um, yeah, and then we talk a little more about it. All right, guys, if you have any question about this, if you want um, more drills on how to practice, you have any question on the rotation, on the preparation of the, the finish, on the comeback, okay? I'm gonna probably do a lot more videos about this, but if you have any questions, any doubts about this video specifically, you just let me know below. I always try to answer, as you can see, everything and help you guys. Maybe have another video or a video of somebody else that already did it and I can show you, okay, so you can understand or a video of a player doing it. If you guys enjoyed this, please like, share with your friends, anybody that you think this could help. Subscribe to the channel if you didn't. This is it for today. Thank you guys for taking the time and watching. I'll see you in the next one.